the I'll see the if ending. I can come back. Close out the stream. I drove a long time to be here, Put so I kind of want to come back later. So kicking off game one on Smashville. Okay. Here. Bam's supposed to be here, but uh, he's, he's found the joys of photography. Yeah. He's back. Oh, wait, there he is. <laughs> well, Okay, so we got winners semis. Angbad and Scizor. Kind of interesting um, winners semis. Scizor with the upset over K9. Spam's getting mad at me now. <laughs> semis. So now we got, we got all my versus the lane. This is interesting for uh, for Scizor because he plays I'm Hip. And uh, he's pretty familiar with this matchup. <laughs> yeah. But they fight each other a lot in the Inland Empire, so. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Angbad and Anhu have a pretty different style, so. Definitely. Still, like, he may be familiar with the character and what Link can do in this matchup, but I just feel this. It's all about uh, the player matchup now. Yeah, yeah, he has to figure out how Angbad approaches it. And right now, Angbad is just content with this. Oh, yeah, nice answer, yeah. Yo, he's very content with just not taking any real risk. Just completely zoning out Link and just avoiding his distance. So, I think that's the safe way to play the matchup, because Link with Raid is pretty disgusting and powerful. Oh, nice pivot grab. 36% off of a side B and a throw. It's fair stuff. Nice. Yeah, I really like um, Angbat's pick management. He always adjusts his follow-ups depending on what lineup he has. And I feel like that catches a lot of people off guard. Put on this purple. Uh, yeah, Scizor is actually not prioritizing being with this purple. Uh, purple Pikmin is pretty strong in this match because it will force Link in shield. And if he does get a hit, it's really strong. Like, he's going for a lot of back airs. It's purple back airs. Yeah. Oh, oh he gets that air dodge read. Yeah. Wow. Two stock, only like 70% on Angbad. I was about to say it was not looking very good for Caesar and Honestly, his only damage he got with uh, Link there was pretty much all trades and just a little bit of chip damage. Honestly, that was damn near a perfect uh, game for Angbad. Okay, Ninja. I, w I don't really see them play because I don't really watch IE tournaments, so I'm just curious if he goes Link or Greninja normally versus... Uh, I'm hit. And if he does normally go Greninja, I'm curious as to why he wouldn't just start the match with Greninja. Because I definitely feel like Greninja has a little bit more tools than Link does in this matchup. Neutral is really strong because uh, it can get rid of Pikmin. And if he has a Pikmin on him, it'll delay the hitbox of the neutral air. And neutral air is one of Greninja's main tools for like starting combo. So um, I think the Greninja, yeah, he has a lot of things to do. Yeah. And so far, it's looking like uh, Angbat's got a pretty good handle on this matchup. Yeah. I'm not sure if he has a handle on the matchup, but like, Angbat's style in general right. is just like, so good at just keeping people out. Yeah. Needless but to say, he's got a, a bit of a percent lead. Yeah. So it definitely works to his advantage, forcing Caesar to come to him. And he's got a great lineup right now, too. Definitely. It's Double like, purples. Like, Angbat keeps you out with all these, uh, you know, pick and tosses. And. Next thing you know, he's racked up like all his damage and chip damage, and then he has like the perfect lineup to get the kill. So all really takes is one mistake from Sigma right now. But nice anti with the F smash, catch him up. This is where Greninja wants yeah. to keep Allmark because oh he didn't get the fast forward. Right? They really got his spike. So. Keep him in the air because he has a little bit of trouble landing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Allmark's landing to the pretty abysmal, and Greninja has amazing levels. So yeah, the only thing they uh, that Allmark really has to land with is. Like kind of a mix-up is the uh, invulnerability frames on his down B, the whistle. Yeah. But it's not really consistent, so it's hard to use. Yeah, it's not that many. Um, well, not as many frames in mid as, as it. Yeah. Still so, so have to time it really well. Okay, so at least purples. Not gonna die to a throw, but uh, back air of smash, forward smash. Oh, there's the dangerous. blue. Okay, yeah, he just needs a grab. Yeah, he has a pivot grab or either just like run up grab. I, I'm i pretty sure Scizor knows the lineup, but yeah, that was risky, I smash. You have to kind of play it safe or either just focus on getting rid of these uh, Pikmin that he actually has right now. Because, yeah, his lineup right now is really dangerous. He gets rid of one purple. That'll help him out just a little bit. I can kind of see it right now. Yeah, he's like, prioritizing getting rid of the uh, purple Pikmin. Oh, nice. nice. Pivot. Wow. Cover the roll. 
just <laughs> like that, takes the lead. Yeah, yeah, that's the very crucial stock. Greninja with Rage is pretty scary. And now he has a first stock, he doesn't actually have to worry about getting zoned out, but nice pick grab. Yeah, gets grabbed by blue and doesn't matter. Yeah. Only uh, 7%. Nice neutral there. Very strong move to get rid of the Pikmin. Okay. Bread and butter juggle here. Gonna cover the landing really well. Yeah. And then we see that yeah. whistle. Yeah, of course you're out on the Pikmin there just to land, but that's a lot of percent taken just from being juggled. And that's really what Almar's gonna struggle in this contest. Would also like to see a little bit more uh, zoning with the retreating forward air from Scizor here, but outside of that, pretty solid performance. Okay. Down to a forward air, it's going to cover the landing. Nope. Inkbad normally um, want to retreat to center stage, doesn't like to overextend. Oh, didn't get the fastball up there. Nair fastball up there would have done just some disgusting uh, string there, but. Little bit off in his conversion. Oh, he wanted to use the counter on the uh, actual Pikmin attack. So he could actually get like a sneak attack there, but yeah. surprisingly enough, the Pikmin didn't ta attack at the right time, so he didn't get it. Yeah, I don't see Caesar uh, really mind much the Pikmin when they stuck to him. He kind of just lets them do their damage. Yeah. But uh, we're seeing a pretty even game in terms of percentage right now 92 to 91. No ledge trump. Oh, weak down smash. Not enough to kill. I was going to get off the ledge here. Oh, that, that trade. trade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Greninja doesn't have really have that many tools to safely get off the ledge. Uh, neutral get up is pretty good. And you can kind of use his quick dash speed to just get to center stage. But yeah, ledge jump, fair. Not not really that great. Honestly, uh -huh. he was lucky to even get the trade, to be honest. So Aangbat up 2-0 right now. Only one game away from moving on. Yeah. In this bracket, uh, looking like they're going to go to Town and City. They started Smashville, then FD, and yeah, Town and City is going to be the, okay, staying the final this pick. This is a good pick for Greninja just because uh, low ceiling stage is really good for him. Kill really early with the yeah. up there and the up smash. And up smash. Platforms will actually help him if he actually catches uh, Angrad on these because he can just throw him up with the up throw, kill him off the top of an up there at an even lower percentage than before. So. We can actually see that in this match. That'll be good for Cesar just to actually even up the set or even get a game in the set. Okay, double jab, it's a down throw, easy damage. All of our low percent strings are actually pretty impressive. Okay, that's the first uh, retreating point that we got for Scizor. I really want to see more of that because it's a really strong disjointed hitbox. And uh, something about Olimar with his smash attacks. You can actually just attack them. Like, you don't have to actually just, you know, respect those hitboxes. A character like Greninja can just forward air those. Yeah, once again, both players kind of just going back and forth, getting their hits in. It really, the battle really starts once uh, the first player takes the stock. Yeah. Definitely, both players are forced to change their game plan when they're behind. Yeah. Okay, here's the side from Aimbad, but no, Aimbad's very smart, actually. Oh, I'll do it, though. Nice, deep uh, back air. Yeah, there. back air so, killing before 100%. Yeah, relatively strong. Yeah. I mean, he got him at the perfect position off stage uh, kill there. But I do like from Aimbad, he's actually not wasting his jump or up B when he gets caught by the Hydro Pump. So he's still relatively safe. Yeah. Though, you know, he's getting hit by that. Yeah, even though Olimar's a... Uh, Recovery is pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Goes pretty far. Man, only 0% on Nangbat so far, and he's got him at 57% already. Yeah. He had the perfect lineup yeah. once again. He's just really taking advantage after having ta uh, evened up the game. David S. Smash keeping the ninja out. It's very rough for a to approach here. He got the nair he needed, but did not get um, the combo extension. I know he was looking for it. And uh, it's going to take one of those plays to actually put him back in this game right now because he's trailing behind a pretty high margin and he needs to, to actually approach here. So it's really up to Sidor to make a devastating play to bring him back. Or else, you know, anybody's going to throw him out for the rest of the game. Okay, getting rid of all the dangerous stickmen. If we can get rid of this purple, he'll be in a good spot just to potentially approach Aangbat safely, but 
Still haven't really seen it. Oh man, treating for your Gerald's gonna be safe on block there. Angbat cannot punish that move. So I really want to see uh, Scizor abuse it a little bit more. I think uh, at this point a grab is definitely gonna kill Greninja on Town and Cities. Yeah. So uh, he's gotta avoid throw. that. Angrath's playing it patient. He wants to keep this blue in rotation just because he knows uh, a throw is his least committal option to kill right now. So if he keeps that uh, in Q, he's in a really good spot. Oh yeah, he wanted to get a roll there to get the kill and throw. So he's playing for his life here at 163%, trying to play as evasive as possible. He's not want to get grabbed. Yeah, he's going from uh, yeah. left to right. He's got the best lineup right now, too. Double yeah. purples and a blue. Oh, dude, Good life for Angbad. Yeah. Oh, trading with the Shadow Sneak there. Just to pop him off the ledge. Oh. Luckily, for him, it wasn't a purple left smash. Okay. Still trying to retreat these platforms here, but Angbad is controlling so much space. I wonder if Nair up smash from Ninja will actually still on our stock right now with all the rage he has. Max rage, yeah. Okay, got the up throw. No chase, but he has him on stage where he wants him. Yeah. Aimbed still with oh, purple on deck, but yeah. a red F smash is going to do it anyways. Overcommitted to that yeah. pivot F smash option that got him the first stock in uh, game two there. <laughs> so despite a very close last game, it still ended up being a, a dominant 3-0 for Aimbed. Yeah. Um, and... Scizor definitely bet the farm there with that charge F smash. Thought he had a read or a... Uh. Shaking his head, not too happy Ooh, about, that, about that. But yeah, thought he had a read on like a pivot F smash roll read again, but Angbat didn't give it to him. Okay, so we're going to go to commercial.